what we've got here is an otter toilet and so you can just see right in this general area here the grass is beat down and just if you look in the background there all the grass is standing up it's you know it's pretty brushy but if you look right here it's just all beat down and laid down and you can see of course there's some castor mounds around but there's a good slide coming up out of the water and that's what caught my eyes the slide and the uh and all this grass beat down and if you look around you can actually find little small um little small piles of fish bones and crawfish bones and scales and you can see here we just got this huge area of otter sign look at there right on top of that stump several big piles that's that's hot right there anytime you see this much sign otter sign you better set it so here i've got my slide i'm <clears throat> gonna set this otter toilet i've got my slide here that drops off into this it's a really deep canal that was dug for the railroad track and so i don't think so i'm gonna have to use my boot and just press me out a shelf for my trap to go tile spade can be pretty handy for doing this as well the trap should be maybe four inches deep when it's set got my 10 foot rebar with my trusty number five bridger and it is kind of a trick sometimes with this with these canals the way they're dug so steep to get to get your drowner anchored off good but that don't seem too deep out there hold the top end in place and put my t-bar in I'll get my trap ready to fire sitting right there on the edge I'll place it I'm gonna slide my lock down the bar just a touch wiggle my trap in so that it's pretty solid there and there's not a much I haven't seen any fresh activity on here so Hopefully that's a good sign, you know, a lot of times otters, it'll be, it may be a couple weeks after they pass through an area before they come back, so maybe we won't have to wait too long. I've got a little otter gland lure that I'll put just in case they happen to come by soon or they for some reason think they want to pass by and I'm just going to put it on a little stick and stand it up where maybe it'll get a little extra a little extra wind and then I've got some crawfish oil here and I've had real good luck with crawfish oil on otters and a lot of times what I'll do is just punch me a hole right behind the trap right in the on the slide and just fill it up but I didn't think about that so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give the whole area a little squirt here coming down and that ought to be good to go hopefully here in a couple days we'll have us an otter here I've got uh, an otter toilet that I've had set for several weeks now. Um, got a beaver caster mound right here, and it's just, it's a real big area. There's otter scat all over, and I've just been waiting the otters out, you know. Sometimes it takes a while for them to come back through once when they're making their circuit. I caught a nutria here. Every time I come by here and the trap's gone, I get excited. I caught a nutria here and a muskrat, but I, uh, the trap's gone again, so I'm, I'm hopeful maybe we got a target catch today. heavy anyway yeah baby that's what I'm talking about that's what I've been after right here
That's a nice otter. Hundred dollar bill right there. I love it. Golly. I need about 50 more of them. That'd be just right. Here we're at our otter toilet set again. I've got two traps set here. One by, there's a big stump right here. Uh, just off to the right. And there's this big beaver caster mound right here. And, and there's a slide going at each one. And so uh, I've had this area set for probably a month now. Um, I've caught an otter on that trap. I've caught a, a new tree and a beaver and just some other odd and end things. But it's a huge toilet location. And I'll kind of walk you around in a minute and show you. But that trap was fine, but this trap's down. So I may have a beaver that was coming to work this caster mound. Hopefully we'll have an otter. We'll see. Heavy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now that is a man otter right there. Look at that big old joker. That is a hundred dollar bill just waiting to happen. That is exactly why it pays. If you got a good location, particularly with otters, if you got a good location and you can let those traps sit there and just soak. The longer the better, because they're going to come back. A location like this, this hot spot toilet area, they're going to come back. 